Hello my friends, my name is LaserJet and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Train Sim World 4. And in today's video we have the train at 777 or 777 from the movie Unstoppable. Now I think you guys can guess what kind of video we are doing today. Yes, we are doing another unstoppable runaway train video because the last one I did with the Flying Scotsman and the Class 47, it turns out that that video has got the most views uh, in that month. I think it's got like 115,000 views, so I thought maybe it's a good idea if we do another one. But this time I thought we'll use the actual locomotive from the uh, movie Unstoppable, number 777 and 767, and we are pulling some toxic, deadly uh, containers, which are highly flammable and highly explosive, I think. I mean, I'm guessing these are highly flammable, so we've got this really long nuclear train as i'm calling it nuclear train and basically uh what i'm gonna do is set the uh train to go completely out of control we're gonna put it in full throttle and then i'm gonna abandon train and leave it to do do its thing you know just have a runaway train and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a british diesel locomotive to see if we can stop this nuclear train so if you're new to the LaserJet YouTube channel, why not consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well, so you stay notified to the channel, it's just a click of a button. Right then, let's set up this nuclear runaway train. <laughs> I'm excited. Right, so I'm already in the cab, so let's have our brakes fully off, like so. Uh, and then we'll throttle up. I'm not sure if I can put it in full throttle to start with, or is it will just spin its wheels. Because how many? I don't know how many um, wagons we'll haul in. Because in the movie, they were hauling 39s. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <gasps> 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We are pulling 40 cars. Wow. So this thing is, this thing is ginormous. But we are slowly moving. So we'll put it in notch A, which I think is full power. See if this thing can handle full full throttle. So let's have a look. Uh, oh, it's, it, yep, yeah, it's wheel spinning. That's what I was worried about. I was worried about it uh, wheel spinning. So, we'll probably put it into notch four, wait for it to speed up, and then um, put it in full notch, and then jump off the train, spawn a, uh, a classic British D. So, I'm thinking maybe a class 66 will do the job just nicely, because it's got a knuckle coupler. I need a locomotive with a knuckle coupler. So, there we go, 21 kilometers per hour, so maybe put it into notch, maybe notch six, see if that might do the trick. But this is a really long train. It's going to get very slow to start off with. But I mean, just like, look how long this is. This is certainly uh, a nuclear uh, train. Although I still have no idea what my cargo is. But if you guys have any ideas what I'm hauling, uh, if it's flammable, please let me know. Or if it's just like, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. Um, milk. Maybe these could be full of milk. We don't know. Is milk flammable? No, milk's not flammable. Petrol is, though. Right, let's put it into full throttle and see if that does the trick. Doing 42 kilometers per hour, 43 kilometers per hour. So we're definitely speeding up. That's good. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to leave this train. Um, I'm just going to abandon it and just like, I don't know, let's just say, I don't know. I, I was just out, you know, out to see the sights. And all of a sudden, oh no, I accidentally slipped off down the stairs. And, oh, I just fell through the world. Oh, now I'm back. What was <laughs> what was that? I just fell through the world. That's that's a, that's that's new. I mean, that's never happened to me before. But now we have a complete unmanned train out on the main line. Oh no! What am I going to do? Uh, I know. Let's press tab and let's go to 66. And maybe I might use my custom Freightliner livery since um, I spent so long uh, making this livery. See how well it looks. Oh, yeah. And also, does it have a knuckle coupler? Yes. Uh, we don't need the front one. Uh, we need the back one. Back one is open. Good. 
Uh, right, so that train is now um, out of control, and we need to stop it. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Let's climb aboard. Closing the door. Uh, oh, this is a lovely cab. Uh, it's much more familiar than the American trains, because I have no idea how to drive American trains. Right, so master key in. Put it in forward. Brakes off. Headlights on. Cab light on. Um... Hold on. Uh, it's at night time. There we go. Let's set the lights to daytime. There we go. Brakes fully off. I think that looks good. Are the brakes off? Yes. And now we can start accelerating. Yeah. So I put it into maybe notch three. No, put it in notch eight because we're not hauling anything. So it should uh, accelerate quite easily. There we go. <laughs> I do like a class 66. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than the uh, American freight locomotives, but I don't actually know what classes they are, but I'm pretty sure you guys will know. Oh, got a bit of wheel slip, but that's okay. Uh, put the throttle down a little bit, then accelerate again. Right, we are on our way, and let's stop this runaway train. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a tad bit nervous. Actually, that is a lie. I'm completely terrified because I have no idea how this is going to play out. Is it going to work? Is it going to derail? Um, I, I don't know. Although I could just see the runaway train in the distance. I have got some catching up to do. Although I'm cruising at a very nice 126 kilometers per hour, would that be enough to catch up to the runaway train? I don't know. I do not know. But i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same sort of strategy as I did in my last uh, unstoppable video where I got the Flying Scotsman in front of the class uh, 47, hooked up from the front, and then braked, and then tried bringing it out to the stop. I'm using that same technique um, as I did last time because it seemed to work out very well. Aha! Looky, looky! I have found the tail of uh, of the runaway train. Uh, again, this this is a nuclear train. It's it's very, you know, if this thing fails, then all these will blow up, and um, and then we'll be doomed. I get like a nice outside view because um, you know I have, to, I have to admit this is so cool. Like, uh, cause I can't really do this on any other route because uh, there'll be a red signal out there, and then I'll fail. So it's nice to actually have a route where you, you know, like you know like like the training center where you can just do whatever you want and just. Have some fun doing it. I mean, why not? I'll tell you what, 777 has really picked up some speed. And this is a really, really long train. It just goes on for miles. I mean, what's my speed at the moment? 113 kilometers per hour. Don't know what that is in miles per hour, but there you go. I can just see uh, 777 up ahead. Yes, I do. There is 777. And I think uh, it's going to be entering the tunnel. Yes, it is. Um, uh, do I need to speed up a little bit? No, I think, I think we're doing fine with speed at the moment. Um, although I do need to get in front of it in order for me to actually switch the tracks. And then get in front of this thing, block its path, couple up, boom. That is my plan. So I'm going to throttle up just a bit. Uh, because I definitely need to get in front of that train. Uh, before the switch point comes up. Because then we'll have to go around the circle all over again. And... Uh, and that's time wasting. I don't want to be wasting time. But here comes Triple Seven. I want to get like a really cool, uh, epic shot of the two. Oh god, look how big the American train locomotives are compared to the uh, Class 66. Class 66 is tiny compared to the uh, Triple Seven. Oh my god! But now we can start thinking about slowing down a little bit. But now we need to switch the points because I and I do need to get in front of it. So points are now switched, but I don't want to slow down too much, otherwise we might hit each other in the points, and then this will be a complete fail. And, you know, what video would this be if it, if it was just a big massive fail? Might turn the game volume up a little bit, because I think the game volume is just a little bit on the quiet side. So I think if I turn the volume up just a little bit, so you guys can actually hear the amazing sound effects in this game. So, uh, this is it guys, the moment of truth. So... Might have to throttle up to notch two a little bit. I have no idea how fast that thing is going because I haven't actually had the chance to actually link speed. I, I don't know. I don't. Actually, I, I think we're, we're actually doing the exact same speed right now. But I've switched the tracks. I am now in front of class, not class, just number. It's just a number. I'm now in front of triple seven uh, with my class 66 Freightliner livery. This is kind of nerve-wracking. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly save this, just in case if the whole thing uh, completely fails on me, and then we can just keep starting over and over again until we get this right. Um, 
So let's have a quick look. So we've got um, Class 66 in the front. And 777. Oh, listen to that engine. Oh, that is the roar of the American trains. The roar of that engine is, is really, really terrifying. Um, I think it's... Um, oh, wait, that thing's definitely moving. I think I might need to speed up a little bit. So let's throttle up. Throttle up. Why am I not throttling up? Is my brake still on? I don't know. There we go. Throttle up. Move. Move, Freightliner. Move. Oh, we are doing, like, the perfect linked speed right now <laughs> oh, and we're in the tunnel this is this oh, I'm, I'm losing the will to to react right now because this is really terrifying because you've got the uh the freight line of class 66 in front of triple seven and that thing looks so deadly doesn't it <laughs> i am terrified oh here she comes everyone i'm really scared when I thought up just a little bit. Is this going to work? I don't know. I'm coming in too, I, I'm, I'm coming in too slow. I need to speed up. Speed up to 113 kilometers per hour. I think that will do nicely. <laughs> this is so close. I'm going to get like a, a wide angle shot for this. But here we go. We're going to hook up. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that actually worked. Um, right. Now we're hooked up. I think. I mean, are we hooked up? I don't know. Yeah, I think we are actually we are actually hooked up. And right now, I think we're being pushed. So now what we want to do... I mean, look at the size of it! Look how, look how big triple seven is compared to a class 66. I mean, I thought a class 66 was big. Okay, I'm being completely honest. I thought a 66 was big. But no, compared to this thing... Oh, American trades are so big. Look how wide it is! That is ridiculous. But we are actually slowing down, and I don't even have my brakes on yet. So let's apply my brakes uh, to maximum. See if this will work. So brakes fully on, I think. Yep, brakes are on. And we're slowing down to about 60-ish kilometers per hour. So I think we might... This might be working, guys. This might be working, everyone. If we slow triple seven down, it'll give me a chance to jump on board and deactivate the throttle. That, that's that's a great idea. But it's working. We're doing about 33 kilometers per hour. So it is working. This is definitely working. You know, our British locomotives may be very small. But they have got some power. And they are really strong. There you go. Look at that. Obviously not as strong as American trains. But either way, we've done it. We have stopped a runaway train. And 777 is still accelerating. So what I need to do is jump, o jump out of the cab. This is the most uh, terrifying thing I've ever done. Uh, jump on board. God, that's 777 is absolutely massive, isn't it? Um, it's so big. Uh, I consider it more like a like a like a like a Boeing uh, aircraft than than a, loco than a locomotive. Right, throttle uh, off, and then brakes fully on. There we go. Fantastic. I think. We have managed to bring 777 to a complete, successful, and safetable. Safetable? No. Uh, a complete safety stop. Kind of ruined that line, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. We brought 777 to a safe stop without any casualties, and the nuclear uh, cargo is safe. Nothing derailed, nothing exploded. I think that's a great success. So there you go. Proof that a class 66 can stop triple seven in a runaway scenario. That is, that is fantastic. I'm really glad this worked. I was a bit nervous that this might not work, but it has. And we've done it. I'm a happy man. But I guess that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that little subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. You know, just click subscribe. It's just a click of a button. Follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. You don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to. Uh, if you want to buy some LazyJet merch, I've got LazyJet t-shirts, hoodies, uh, cups, mugs. Just head over to the LazyJet merch website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And also, it'll pop up on the screen at the end of this video. Uh, check it out. See if, you know, if you if, I mean, Christmas is coming soon. If you've got some Christmas ideas. Is, check over on the LazyJet merch website and see if you've got any Christmas gift ideas like a LazyJet mug or a, or a t-shirt or a hoodie or a sport bag. You know, just go have a look. It might make a good Christmas gift. You never know. But thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.